Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Lauren with Senior Shape. Today I have a great Pilates workout for you. Full body. We're going to be on the mat the whole time using a great prop, the mini ball. This is the Gaia mini ball that was also featured in the FabFitFun box but they carry it all the time. And I also could use something like this I've used in my other videos. Great playground ball has the grips on it. Great option as well. You can get them off of Amazon. I will put links to both in the video description below, so check those out. So making sure that you have a ball in a pinch, a rolled up towel could also work as well. Starting up, sitting up nice and tall. Take those feet about hip width apart. Hold the ball in front. We're gonna open and close, opening up the chest here. Full body, but it's Pilates. Again, whole time on the mat, so there's a lot of core. And I've got a lot of glute exercises for you as well. Open and close. A few more here. Two more. Open and close. You stay facing me. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Again, nice and tall. Holding that ball in front of you, tummy in. We do a nice C curve here, rolling back, pulling the belly button in, and then sit up nice and tall, reach the ball over the head. We come back, big reach. Make sure you're breathing. Back, and release. Three more here. Last one, big reach, and then take that ball all the way down back behind us. Scooch it a little bit if you can under that lower back, and then lean back, putting some pressure on the ball. Lengthen those arms in front of you, tummy in, leaning back, smush that ball, and then lift forward. Smush it behind you, reach it forward, using our abdominals to lift us up ball just gives us a little boost here and left for four three two last one grab that ball behind you and help yourself slowly lower down onto your back keep both knees bent Lift the ball up in both hands over your head. We're gonna tap the ball to the knee as we crunch up, bringing the knee towards the ball, like in a tabletop position, and then lower back down. Little crunch, and lower. Elbows straight on the ball. Again, think about lengthening. Four more here. You can always leave your head, neck, and shoulders on the mat. If this is too much pressure on your neck, and then just bring the ball to the knee. Last one here. Excellent, lengthen that leg. And this time, we're gonna leave our head, neck, and shoulders on the mat, bring the ball towards that shin, and again, lengthen. Tap if you like. Both are going straight towards the ceiling. Reaching the fingertips and the toes, making a nice long line here. First three, two. Last one, hold that leg up there, curl up again, bring the head, neck, and shoulders up, and circle that ball around the leg with a little baby pulse right here. Little lift. Reverse that circle. So it's a little baby crunch. We're not coming all the way down on the mat again. Two, and one. Release it down. Let's do the other side. Starting with those knees. Arms up overhead, opposite knee. We curl up, tap the ball to the knee, and lengthen back out. Curl and tap. Make sure you're breathing and the lower back is pressed into the floor. Three, 
three, two, and one. Lengthen the leg this time, arms up overhead, ball to the knee, leaving the head, neck, and shoulders on the mat. Foot here is either neutral or pointed. Four more here. Keep reaching nice and tall. Each one becomes longer. Hold this last one up. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Take that ball around the leg. Little crunch, little crunch. Circle. If you can't reach this high, maybe just tap the ball to the knee. Let's reverse it. As always, you do you. Keep working out with me. You'll get stronger and feel better every time. Give me one more. Put that leg down and slowly lower down. Beautiful job. We're gonna come onto our side here. Go ahead and rest the head here. Take that ball and put it on the crook of your knee here, that on that lower leg and foot on top. Goal here is to open up that top leg, knee to the ceiling. Put your other arm here to help you balance. Relax that head, again, in that arm. Take that foot, put a little pressure on the ball. We're gonna roll it all the way down and then using your foot, roll it back up to the knee. We go down and lift. We'll see if we can hold onto my ball. You guys, you rolls away, just grab it and keep going. Give me three. Two. Last one, leave it there. Pull that belly button into the spine again. And I want you to try lifting that lower leg. So both legs lift up and then put it down. Wowzer, I know. Give me three. Two, you can do it. It's only supposed to come up an inch or two, if at all. That's a hard one. Let's do a combination. One little passe here. Roll that ball up to the knee. Come back down, lift those legs. Beautiful. Again, roll it and down and lift. This takes lots of control, guys. Work up to it. And left. Roll it up, bring it down and lift. We've got four more. If you really can't lift that bottom leg at all, just give me a little squeeze. Right there, squeeze. Ooh, one more. And a little lift. Great job. We're gonna grab that ball, bring this other knee forward. We're gonna put that ball behind the knee. Now I learned from experience here, this is a little tricky if you have very slippery leggings or slippery sweaty legs. So I recommend a legging or a jogger with some cotton, the cotton blend here. Okay, coming back, let's support our head in our hands. And knees are at about, about a 45 angle degree in front of us. Squeezing that ball behind that top leg. We're gonna lift the leg and lower it. Lift and lower, just going straight up and down. Ball is helping us hold that contraction for four, three, two. Hold it up here and I want you to squeeze the ball, bringing the heel to the bum. Little squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, freeze. Here we go. We're going to go this time forward and back forward and back. So imagine if you had a table right here in front of us, we're just sliding that leg, like the inside of the knee directly across the table. Forward and back for four, three, 
Last one. Now hold that leg back and squeeze the ball again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Woo, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Remove that ball. Give a little love to that hip. Nice job. One more exercise on this side. Propping yourself up, we're gonna take the ball directly under our waist here. So again, get it nice and close. And then we're gonna lean all the way over. Arm down on the floor, palm up. Extend your legs to the side. Put the top leg slightly in front, staggered so you can balance here. Extend this other arm, reaching there. And then we're gonna lift up, reaching out, and then back over to the side. So we're using our oblique here to lift ourselves up. It should feel really nice with the cushion of that ball underneath our waist. Reach up and over and down for four and three. Two, make it small if you need to. Last one. And down. Bend those knees. Help yourself. Sit up and let's do that. all that fun work again on the other side. Go ahead and put that ball on top of that bottom knee. And foot comes on top. And let's lower our torso all the way down here hand in front. A little pressure on that ball so it doesn't get away from us. Extend the leg, knee towards the ceiling. Roll it out and back in. Working so many different things at once here. Pilates is so effective that way. We've got four. Three. Lengthen. One more here. Hold that ball down at the bottom. Lifting that bottom leg. Squeezing the ball. Three. Two. And one. Ready for that combination. Here we go. Roll it up. Extend it down. And the left. Our tummies are in. We're breathing. Again, just give me an inner thigh squeeze right here. If you're having trouble lifting that bottom leg, we'll get you there. For three, lengthen, lift, and two. Last one. And lift. Great job. Grab that ball. Knees come forward. And that ball is underneath that top leg. Get it nice and close. Give it a big squeeze. Propping up your head and your arm there. Knees come together, 45 degree angle. We lift the leg and lower it. Four more, then come our squeezes. For three, two, hold it up here, and we squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze. Keep tension on that ball. Knee comes forward, knee goes back. Forward, and back. Tighten your tummy. Squeeze your glute back here. I don't want you to arch that back. You should not be feeling this at all in the lower back. Remember, knee is sliding across the table in front of us. For three, two, and one. Hold it back, squeeze the ball. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it. 
shake it out. Propping yourself up, ball coming all the way. Give it a little shove underneath. We come over, palm up, and extend those legs, finding our balance here. Arm lifts up and over. Stagger your legs, that really helps us stay balanced. Lift up and over. Really good for our obliques here. Three more. For two. And last one. Go ahead and gently push yourself up. Grab that ball and come back to sitting on our bum. You continue to face me. I'm coming to the side here. Okay, legs are bent in front of you. Put that ball in between the knees. Hands are just about at our hips with the fingertips facing forward, sitting up nice and tall. Give me four big squeezes here. Squeeze the ball with your knees. Four, three, two, and one. Squeezing those abdominals. I want you to lift your bum off that mat, coming to a tabletop. Hold it here. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. We're going to do that three more times. We squeeze. Two, three, and four. Hold the squeeze. Lift the hips. Tabletop. We go four, three, two. Pause. Hold it here if you want a little bonus to lift the heels and lower. Wow. Sit it back. Squeeze. We've got four, three, two, and one. Tabletop. Lift the hips. Squeeze. Four, three, two. Option to lift the heels up and down. One more time. Squeeze four, three, two, and one. Keep the squeeze. Bring it up. Squeeze it. Four, three, two, and one. And lower down. Back on our bombs. Grab that ball. Tummy in. Roll it back down. One vertebrae at a time. Bring the ball in both hands back overhead here. Push that lower back into the floor. Feet are flat on the mat. We're going to do some glute bridges here. So pushing your feet into the mat, lift the hips off the floor as we lift the arms straight up. Slowly roll, or down, roll down one vertebrae at a time. A little quicker, we're going to lift, squeeze those glutes, hips to the ceiling, and lower down. We lift. And lower. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Lower the hips, and I want you to put that ball between the knees. Lower the torso. Back down. Hands at our side. Again, curl up, rolling it up, hip towards the ceiling, squeezing those glutes. Also keeping a squeeze on the ball. Let's lower and lift for eight. Seven. Keep a nice roll here. Tommy's in. Four. Three. Two. Hold this last one up here. Hips stay nice and high. And squeeze the ball for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and squeeze here. Hold for four, three. Harder. And one. Lower all the way back down. Nice work. Bring the knees in towards the chest and rock around, rock and roll a little bit while we're here. Take the arms out to the side and then bring the knees up to a tabletop position. Belly button comes into the spine. 
I want you to do little baby circles with your knees. Let's start clockwise, squeezing that ball. Tommies are in. Lower back pressed into the floor. For four, three, two, and one. Let's switch it, other side. Little baby circles. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Again, arms up to the side, palms down, tummies in. I want you to lower those knees towards me and then pull them back to center. Other side, lower those knees. This feels amazing on the lower back, but we're still working our abdominals here. Only go as far as you're comfortable. When you start feeling a pull on that lower back, then don't go any further. And lift, side, and lift one more each side. Back to center. And again, hug those knees in. A little rock and roll around here. Releasing that tension while we're here. Turn the neck to the side to release any tension in the neck. And other way. And back to center. Release that ball from the knees and we're gonna flip over on our tummies. Little Small move here, just a couple of them, working on our back. So on our stomachs, and then take those feet, those legs are about mat width apart. Ball is in front of you, and I want you to extend it. With the hands both on top of the ball, pushing it out in front of you. Tummies are in. We're gonna bring that ball, lifting our chest, Bring the ball towards you, and then roll it, extend it back out. Good, again. Tummy in, bring it in. Only lift that chest as high as you're comfortable. I don't want it tweaking in that lower back. Make sure you're breathing. Squeeze those glutes and the abdominals at the same time. I know I'm asking a lot of you today. Two more. Last one. Okay, take a little break. Rest your forehead on the mat if you need to. Lift up again. Take the ball in one hand, and what I want you to do is pass it back to your other hand behind us and then have the hands both meet back up top. So lifting that chest, we pass it in front. Pass it in back, in front. One more time, then we switch sides. Take a little break if you need to. Good, again, we lift, pass the ball behind our back, and bring it back forward. Keeping that contraction, this is great for our posture. Squeezing that upper back. That's our last one. Bring it in. Tummy in, go ahead and sit back. Into a child's pose, rounding the back. Coming onto our hands and knees, let's put the ball between the knees. Making sure that our wrists are underneath our shoulders, knees underneath the hips, little cat cow here combination. Chin comes up, shift the hips back, round, really arching that back, chin is down, and then keeping the back rounded. Take it all the way back into a child's pose. And back up. Lift the chin, hips come back, tummy in. Drop the chin, keep the rounded back and sit back. Good, two more times. Lift, 
drop the chin and sit back. Keep it rounded. Last time, chin up and down and sit back. Hold it here, nice deep breath. Maybe walk those hands out a little bit further. Stay deep breath in and exhale. Slowly roll that up, one vertebrae at a time. And you guys, we're almost done. One more exercise and then we're gonna stretch. Okay guys, we're sitting up nice and tall on our mat in what I call a mermaid position. So the knees are both facing forward but both feet are going out at an angle to the side with the one leg tucked under. Take the ball in the opposite hand that the feet are going, sit up nice and tall, press into the ball. We're gonna lean over to the side, allowing the ball to roll about to our elbow. Pull that waistline in and we come back up top. Again, lean over to the side, push into that ball come on back up top. You should be able to feel that oblique moving if you've got your hand on your hip there. We're gonna to try to allow our sit bones to stay on the mat here. So try not to let that hip pop off. Big reach and pull it back. Give me two more. Good, staying nice and tall, going straight out to the side. Take the ball in the hand, this hand outside, big reach all the way over. Back down to the side. Again, take this opposite hand, push it onto the ball, dropping the forearm towards the floor. A little pressure on that ball and I want you to extend it out as far as you can, leaning over, Rolling that ball. You should feel a beautiful stretch all the way up and down the spine and in the back. Let's make it even better by lengthening that top back leg. So you're making a nice long diagonal line here. Hold it here, inhale. And exhale, relax into it. So let's bring that back leg back in and roll it up, let's do the other side. So switching our legs. Might feel a little bit different. We are all naturally more flexible on one side than the other. Nice and tall, pressure on that ball. Here we go, let's roll it out directly to the side. And back in. Using that waistline tummy in to pull ourselves back up. out. You're going to feel this a little bit in your shoulder too, getting a great workout. Side and left. We've got three more. Two and three. Nice job. Opposite hand comes down. Lift that ball. Big stretch for that waistline all the way up and over. down on the floor. Little twist here, opposite hand goes on top of that ball, leaning over, bringing the forearm down to the ground, the mat. A little pressure on that ball and we extend it all the way out, lengthening that arm and feeling that beautiful stretch in your back. And let's go ahead and extend that top leg, making our nice long line. Inhale here. Exhale. And that top leg again, bringing it back in. And let's push into that ball to help us roll all the way out. Legs are gonna come straight out in front. If this is uncomfortable for you, you have a hard time straightening your legs, go ahead and prop your hips up underneath a pillow or a rolled up blanket. Ball is on top of the thighs, sitting up nice and tall, inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna roll that ball all the way down towards the feet. 
keeping our chest nice and straight and high, proud chest, shoulders down and back. And let's roll it back. Now let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, leaning forward. And back in. And the last time, this time we're gonna go ahead and round the back. So you should be able to go a little bit further down. Feeling that all the way up and down the spine and the lower back. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, maybe go one more inch. Take that ball and let's roll it back up. Opening up those legs to a straddle stretch just so you feel the point of stretching those inner thighs. Toes are gonna stay up facing the ceiling. Ball here is in the middle. Extend those arms out to the side. Give me a big twist to the side and we're gonna take that front arm outside of the pinky here and we're gonna saw the ball leaning chest over that other knee out to the elbow and then opening up that back arm. Let's bring it back in. Open up the other arm. Let's twist. And here we go. Other side. And back up. That feels amazing. Saw it here. All the way over. Open. And twist. Four more, sitting up nice and tall, trying not to round the shoulders here. Open up that arm. Each time think about maybe deepening that stretch, going a little bit further. Two more guys. Last one, make it your best. Up and twist. Nice job. Go ahead and put that ball to the side. We are done with it for now. Legs are back out straight in front. Take one leg, do a little figure four stretch here, sitting down, crossing that ankle, not on top of the knee, but right above it. Allowing that hip to open up, big inhale to deepen that stretch as we exhale we're going to slightly hinge forward nice proud chest try not to round the back so you're going to feel it all the way up the bottom of that bottom leg the back of the bottom leg and in the hips and the glutes and the top leg and slowly come up we're going to pick up this leg here we're going to cradle it so one arm underneath and the other one cradling that ankle Again, try to allow that knee to open up and let's bring it towards our chest. A little hug here. Supporting that leg. Again, you should feel it right here in the glute, glute in the hip. Give it a little wiggle around. Sometimes you might feel it in a deeper extension somewhere else. Like if we take that foot and push it away from us, you might feel it deepen. Good, inhale. Exhale, hold on to that knee, but drop the foot. And then big torso twist in the opposite direction for our spine. Come back to center. Release that leg, other side. Crossing the ankle above that knee. Allow that hip to open out. Again, it might be, one side might be a lot tighter than the other. Inhale, leaning forward as we exhale. Hold it there. And bring it up. Two hands, going ahead and picking up that leg. Maybe flex that foot and push it away from you to deepen that stretch. No pain in the knee here, be mindful. I don't want you to jerk it up too high here. Inhale. Exhale, hold on to that knee, but let's drop the foot to the outside of the opposite knee. Sitting up nice and tall, another big torso twist around. Releasing back to center. 
Let's cross our legs here in a crisscross, sitting up nice and tall. One hand down, one hand reaching straight up to the ceiling. Big stretch, lengthening, then all the way to the other side. Release it. Other arm up, nice and high first. And again, a big reach over. And release it down. Let's take a big inhale. Both arms go up. It was a great workout. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with me. I know I did. I love playing with the ball. It's a great prop. Anytime to use. I think it's encouraging. It's fun to use. Introduces new choreography and helps with our alignment. Last big inhale up. Let me know if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for working out with me. We'll see you next time.